All right, I, I came across this video. This guy is talking about um child support being put on um a type of bridge card. Um, and I seen a clip of it already. He has the opposite view that I have, so I want to do a quick rebuttal. Get this, y'all. I saw this meme a while back, and I thought it was a joke. Just like all the other crazy shit I see, I scroll right past it. But it just resurfaced, and apparently people really feel like this. I think it said child support should come on a card that can only buy baby stuff, not crab legs, or trips to Miami, and fake hair. And I'm just like, really, nigga? Was was wrong with not funding someone else's luxury? That stuff we just named is a luxury. Why is it wrong to not want to fund that? Maybe now y'all can see why I just knew it had to be sarcasm made by some 14 year old aspiring comedian. But no, now I think it was made by a salty ass deadbeat who's mad his child's mom has a life. Like, look, bro, it don't matter what your child's mom is doing with her money outside of taking care of the child. Long as your child is taken care of, your obligation is still to do your part. Yeah, but she shouldn't be using my money to do it, but she's not. She's using her discretionary income that most single mothers would have left over if they weren't carrying the financial burden of two parents. All right, so I hear this position a lot. Now, he's not wrong when he's talking about a specific set of guys. And that's what people tend to do in these types of situations. They focus on the scenario where only the guy is always the one in the wrong. And that's 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 fine. I would just I would just argue on the opposite extreme where it's the woman is always wrong. But to to his point, it's the he's talking about the mom that might work two jobs and you know, she has no help and the father is on, the type of guy that only helps through child support. He won't argue that that that's that's fine. I'll go the other way. So to rebuttal this, um let's assume that she's the type of mom that drops the kid off all the time and doesn't really who isn't the best mom in the world. She had the chance off, she's on child support, she has assistance. Now let's think about this. You're taking money from the guy, giving it to the mom who has assistance already. And chances are, because you're a man with an income, you can't get that. Look how lopsided that is. So, yeah, it's it's kind of fair to be salty when she gets to go do all that and you can't do anything because they're taking part of your already low income from you. Apparently, a lot of y'all feel like a mother is supposed to use up every dime of her money first. And only after that will you pitch in for y'all child. Like, no. Well, some probably do, but but no. And I've heard this before as well. Here's what I'll, I would say and to give a, a, a good understanding of what reasonable people are coming from. All right. So should she spend all her money? No. Should she spend more? On average, yes. And, here, and here's why I'll say that. Women, on average, spend more money than men, just on average. So let's say something like a birthday party, because I've seen this brought up as well. Women, even for a one-year-old, like to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for their child on a birthday party. That's fine if she can afford it. Because I'm not a, I don't have kids, but if I was a father, I kind of think I have a right to say if I want to give my one or two year old that kind of a party or just simply do something simpler. Um, to give a second example, let's say clothing. Um, let's say she wants to go to Target, right, and get a bunch of stuff that comes up to one hundred dollars, but I can get clothing for my child, you know, from family members, friends, or whatever. Because, and a lot of people, especially women, have a problem with giving their kid hand-me-down. That's fine. Again, that's fine. But if I can get it for free, but she wants to spend $100, wants to spend $100, then, yeah, she kind of has, I feel, should cover that $100. You can force me to be a father. Absolutely. 
but you can't force me to give my child a luxury. That's that's the difference. If I can come up with a way to get something, and you, but you want to do it on a more expensive way, then you should have to cover that because that's what you want. You're not even doing it for the kid. You're doing it for you. So you can say you did this. What the f Maybe if you was less worried about child support and more worried about actually supporting your child, you'd realize a lot of the shit your baby mom does ain't covered by them payments that you make every month. The monthly payments don't cover waking up in the middle of the night to change a diaper or breastfeed or warm up a bottle. And it don't cover finding a replacement babysitter when the main one call out so she can still make it to work. What does waking up in the middle of the night have to do with spending money? I don't I mean, if she going up to buy formula or something, because um, waking up in the middle of the night does not entitle you to more money. I mean, if you would come up with a more balanced court system then it would it wouldn't always put the burden on the mom would y'all be in favor of a system that always gave the, the kids to the father and see how that worked out see if maybe this would resolve some of these issues or see let's see if it flips and maybe the women do all the complaining just if if they're always the ones getting the child like you can't always just just take their side and go well yeah they're just they have the unfair, you know, um, the raw side of the deal here. You can't always say that. Damn sure don't cover when the baby gets sick and she got to take a week off of work just to give him round the clock care. But if you want a child support card for baby stuff, put all that shit on there. See how much money you got left then. Oh, and don't forget, anytime there's an unexpected rent increase for the roof that's over your child's head or the baby got a field trip coming up. I am so sick of this rent argument. You, I don't have to pay for her rent. And I'm not saying, yeah, I don't know. My child lives there. But you know what? I have a home too. That's me providing a roof for my child. Don't, I don't have to. That's her job. That's her whole separate living arrangement. I don't have to. Pay, I'm not obligated to pay for somewhere for her to live. Again, if she's getting child support, there's a 98% chance that she has assistance. So why would I then have to pay, help pay her rent? Her rent does not matter in child support. It doesn't. Because I have a roof for my child. That comes out of the mother's pocket. Yet you stressed about some crab legs and trips? And I don't give a fuck if she take a trip to Mars every month. If all you do is pay child support, it still don't match what she got to sacrifice. And Listen to that idea. It doesn't matter what she does. It doesn't matter how much luxury she takes. I should have to chip in. Let's, let's think about that. Let's think about how dumb that is. If I am pitching in and you are constantly taking luxuries, you're you, I'm pretty sure you're living outside of your means. So I think I have a say so about that. I think I have a, a right to be angry about that. Make herself available for day in and day out to take care of that baby. Since we're keeping it all the way a stack, a lot of these same dudes are taking the money they could be using to give their child more than just what they need, and they spend it on a new girl every other week, then complain about child support cramping their style. What about the girl? Absolutely. You got a lot of idiots. But those are the same idiots who put their kids in... They're still growing kids in the newest outfits, the newest. The, the, that's just got a point. Absolutely. It is a lot of dumb moms and fa dumb fathers. Absolutely right. They just sit at home all day and don't do nothing. Don't even take care of the child. Well, she don't need a child support car. Hell, she don't even need custody. But I'm going to tell you all what y'all tell a lot of these women. Choose better. Like, I'm aware that those types exist, but 90% of the time, single mothers are women who are holding shit down for both themselves and... Where the hell do you live? Is he, is all of his family, female family members single moms and they just tell him this is what happens? Because that's, that is horribly inaccurate. Horribly. You know, I'm, I wish I had, I had, I, on the top of my head, was able to count out how many stay at home, how many 
single moms were just absolutely deadbeat themselves. How you think they get to three baby daddies? Because they're constantly not being with their kid and getting pregnant again. The father, outside of the financial aspect. And the same thing applies to single fathers. If you're doing your thing and carrying your weight and then some, the last thing anybody has a right to do is complain about you going out to eat and taking a trip. Give me a break. I still don't understand this mindset. This, this whole... This is how people are always poor. This is how it goes from generation to generation. If you... Single, like he said, single mom or single dads, if you are struggling... And you're doing something luxurious, especially often, is very retarded and irresponsible. Why do people think we can't complain about this? You're, I'm pretty sure you're going to be taken from a system that's already depleted, and, but you're, yet you are setting aside luxuries. This, people, stop doing this. It's bad. Single mom, single dad, it's bad 